Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Eumanns. And I'm Jordan Amesbacker and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Have you ever been worried about the measles? Well, there's no need to worry since the results are negative. On Tuesday, a child suspected of having measles has been announced as negative. Dr. Mina Brewster, St. Mary's health officer, said the child had received the first of two required doses of measles vaccine. That could have left the child susceptible to the disease. The patient was evaluated Sunday at the Leonardstown Hospital Emergency Department and was isolated within hours of her arrival. Measles has been virtually eliminated in the United States due to the widespread use of the MCCR vaccine. However, the sporadic cases and the measles outbreaks can arise. On February 27th, six teachers were recognized at the school board meeting for receiving the high certification you can receive as a teacher, the National Board Certification. Colleen Gill, Supervisor of Instruction in the county, said the certification was designed to develop, retain, and recognize accomplished teachers. Mary Ritter, a teacher at Leonardtown Elementary School, received her recertification of her National Board status. St. Mary's County now has 38 National Board recipients with 16 teachers in the certification process. Naval Air Station Patuxent River is preparing an environmental impact statement and is requesting the public's input. The study area will include the southern half of St. Mary's County and the southern Calvert County and stretches across the Chesapeake Bay to include most of the eastern shore. Specifically, the installation is looking at all the impacts of the aircrafts on biological resources such as endangered species, air quality, public health, and other factors in the environment. A piece of the past has been returned after it was stolen from the reflection room at St. Mary's Hospital. Court paper states that the young Great Mills woman's parents helped law enforcement contact her. Jordan Grace Raley was charged Tuesday with a misdemeanor theft offense. She admitted being at the hospital on February 26 where she noticed the 1950s nurse's cape on the mannequin and decided to take it and leave. The St. Charles boys basketball team is determined to make a change from last season after losing in the finals last year against Great Mills. St. Charles senior Anthony Bauman said, it was tough, I knew it was gonna be tough. Our season ended here last year and I just thought to myself, I don't want it to happen again. Bauman scored all six of his points in the final quarter to propel the St. Charles Spartans to a 45 to 41 win against Great Mills in the last year, in this year's 3A South Section 2 finals. St. Charles advanced to the 3A South Finals on Friday night, where they will host the Poly of Baltimore at 6.30 p.m. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Jessica Eumanns. And I'm Jordan Amstacker, signing off.